This is from Chapter 7. The enthalpy of combustion of methane when water liquid is formed is minus 191 kilojoules per mole. The enthalpy of combustion of methane when uh, water in the gas phase is formed is minus 803 kilojoules per mole. And the problem wants us to use Hess's law to determine the enthalpy of vaporization of water. Um, I have gone ahead and done the written down the reactions that they gave us. So they gave us these two reactions. Notice the difference is in the final state of water. In the top one, the water is liquid. In the bottom one, the, the water is in the, in the gas phase. And they want the vaporization process. And vaporization is a process in which a liquid goes to a gas. So we need water, liquid, on this side of the equation, on the reagent side of the equation, and we need water gas in the product side of the equation, and that's the way that we're going to use Hess's law. Now, the other thing is that they want us to actually form, um, calculate the enthalpy for one mole. So they want enthalpy for one mole. I'm going to write it here. per mole. And that is important because if you notice, we actually form in both of these reactions, we form two moles of water. So we're not going to need the two moles. This number here is for two moles. We're going to need to convert that to one mole of water. All right, so let's start with the top one. We said that we need liquid as a starting reagent because we want liquid water going to gas. So we're going to flip the top reaction. You flip it and you divide by 2 because I only want one mole of the water. So I'm going to divide the whole thing by 2 and I'm also going to flip it. So I'm going to do that little by little. Let's just go ahead and flip it first. So CO2 and two moles of water, liquid, forming methane, gas, and two oxygens in the gas state. The delta H for this reaction, we flip the reaction over. So we kind of flipped it. We need to flip the sign. So this reaction that they gave us is negative. But if you do the opposite reaction, that one's going to be a positive number. So it's 891 kilojoules per mole. We are not done because I want it per mole. And we need to actually divide the whole equation by 2. So because I only need one mole of water, I'm going to divide by 2 here. I'm going to divide by 2 here. I'm going to divide and I'm going to keep dividing. This you will have to divide as well because this number was for two moles of water and you only want it for one mole of water. All right, so this number right here is now 445.5 kilojoules per mole. This cancels and this cancels as well. All right, let's go for the second equation. The second equation, I want it just the way it is because I want water as the product. So let's go ahead and write it down, and then we divide by 2 for the exact same reasons. So methane gas plus 2O2 forming CO2 gas and 2 moles of water gas. The delta H for that reaction was minus 803. I used the equation the way they gave it to us, so I do not change the, the sign. What I am going to have to do is divide the whole thing by 2 because, again, I don't want 2 moles of water. I want only 1 mole of water. So divide everything by 2 including the delta H. So this delta H right here is now 
uh, minus 401.5 kilojoules per mole. And this number cancels, and this number cancels as well. All right, we're almost done. Now we need to add the two equations. So let's go over here and see what cancels. What's on the left in products if there's one equal on the other side? I'm going to use this one. So half a CO2 gas, this one, cancels with the half a CO2 gas over here. The half methane over here cancels with the half methane over there. And the water, I'm sorry, the oxygen over here cancels with the oxygen on the other side. Notice that the only two things that are left are water. So the total reaction that we have now is water liquid going to water gas. And it's only for one mole. The delta H is going to be equal. I'm going to add this to is delta H1 plus delta H2. Delta H1 was 445. I'm going to put it in parentheses. I'm going to add that to this number over here, minus 401.5 kilojoules. This whole thing is going to be in kilojoules per mole. And when you add those two numbers, you end up with the reaction, the vaporization of water is has an enthalpy of 44 kilojoules per mole.